there's a new era about to dawn at the most magical setting in golf. Four. What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Welcome into the stream. Oh, we got down. some uh, very special guests here today. We have first timers in the office. First time, first yeah. First timers, yeah, yeah. I've gained ten pounds since I've been here, and I'm not fucking kidding. Okay, oh, it's the disgusting. snack situation. And I know you guys probably don't do the order in food all the time. That's probably been for the mini golf. But even with that, the popcorn machine, which I know Frankie Brelli's been hitting up like crazy. You guys just have a lot of snacks, so I feel fat as shit. But I'm excited to be here. We're watching the Masters, especially like we're on the road right now, so you're just eating like crap, like ordering food, like at the hotel getting drinks, ordering late night McDonald's, all that type of stuff. It's and bad. You come in here and you think it's like a, a getaway. It's not. No. 2K There's... room, by the way. Wow. Beautiful. This is unbelievable. It's really dope, good. Huh? Yeah. What, what else What do you, What else you guys think about the office? Let's, let's hear the initial. You guys have yeah. been here for two days now. I mean, well, we've only seen like the mini golf setup of like, the basketball court. We, we didn't get the full experience, but it's amazing. Um, I was saying, like, it's huge, but I like how you guys have, like, consolidated it to everyone just chills in, like, one main area. It doesn't feel too big. The golf simulator is awesome. Yeah. Phenomenal. Like, you can just waste so much time hitting balls. Um, so I've really enjoyed that. Yeah, the, most of the videos I see from this office when I'm in New York is the basketball court. So I just haven't been able to experience that or, or take any shots because the mini golf is out there. But, um, yeah, it's a, it's a fucking beautiful office. Hey, you guys will be back in... Uh... Or, or are you all coming back in June, or just just you for the? I've got Sky Sheffler just oh. hold out. Sky Sheffler just hold out birdie. on twelve for birdie at the Masters. Dave Portnoy's got three hundred bands on him, so and I gave him that pick. It was a chalk pick. He's he's by far the favorite. Bryson DeChambeau. Went it was one of those situations where Dave was talking what do you guys to Frankie. Like this week? What do you like this week? And Frankie just started running downhill about how he loves Scotty so much. And Dave's like, well, I'm going to bet $300,000 on him. So. <laughs> and then he texted me this morning, what's wrong with Scotty? I was like, dude, he's 200 through 7. He's fine. Now we're 300 through 12 and we're looking good. Um, yeah, I'm coming for We have Pickleball at Pickleball House, it's called, um, in Chicago. And then we've got Pup Punk the night before at um, Joe's on Weed. Joe's on Weed, which shows tickets are on sale that right now. That place is sweet. Yeah, we're capping it like it's like 800 or 900 tickets. It's going to be like a small, like intimate. I, I, I saw the pictures. It's like low ceiling rock show type like vibe. Because really, it's in really the back. Cool. The venue's in the back, right? Yeah. I like that place a lot. Yeah, it's a I'm great excited. it's a great place for live music. That's going to be so tickets are on sale for that. Pickleball. Are there tickets Pickleball for that sold too? out in Chicago. Nice. But oh, like if you want to play, be on the wait list because we, what we've noticed is like day of people are always like either there's an injury or someone can't get a partner. We're always looking for a partner the, like the last second. So if you're on the wait list, we will call you. So, um, yeah, it's, it's exciting. My bet that I did that I am so over leveraged. I didn't realize it till it was too late is is round robins. You know, round What's robins. That? It's like I've never so, done it for golf. I so like. so I was I was thinking because I was like, you know, masters sometimes like Phil last year was kind of what started it. But like. You always get an invite back, even if you're not playing good golf. Like you can still make a run in the Masters because it's like you know you you know the course and and it's a yeah. little shorter or whatever. And the live guys, I, I just for for content sake and, and the narrative, I, I'm rooting for live guys to win all four majors just because it will it will a I think force the sport to like grow back together if like they're yeah. like we have to get these guys on the same page because all the live guys are winning all our tournaments. But I also and it'll just be funny for for takes and stuff. So. What I did, there's there was seven live players who have won Masters before, and then I did those seven plus Bryson, Brooks, and Cam Smith round robin okay. to finish top ten. So if like three of the or top twenty, I think if three live guys finish top twenty, I'll win money. If like four, five, or six finish top twenty, I'll win because it's a hundred twenty bets. I see. Because wow. it's every single combination of live golfer Whoa. to finish top twenty. I, I like that. But it was like I was like I think it's like twenty dollar bets and it ended up being like I won uh money on Yukon in the under. I think I won like two grand and this bet was like twenty five hundred. So I basically just emptied my account. I didn't even have money to put any other winners right. any other anything. So I'm just all rooting for those ten guys to finish top 20. You're just so rooting Bryson's for live a good guys. start. Yeah, I'm just rooting for live Incredible. guys. Incredible. That's unbelievable. Bryson had himself a day, shot seven under. Look at him. Yeah, he's just not the same Bryson that he used to be. So it's like, I don't know, Whitney was like, the world will burn if he's in in the contention on Sunday. I just don't, 
I don't know. He's just like a happier Bryson now. He's not always getting in the mix. When you go over to live, it's like you kind of just you just like exist over there now. You're not in the you're not in the mix anymore. It's true. Whitney was right though. Depending on what quotes he gives after, yeah, but he's being like, yeah, it was easy out he there. This is an easy golf course. When he starts to blink and start going like into old Bryson mode, where his like his server starts to kind of overheat, that's where <laughs> you start to get some really good quotes. The I mean, oh, fuck, what was I about to say? The sorry, go ahead, Rudy. Rudy, um, I just I'm just learning, dude. I'm I'm recently gotten really into golf. I've you been, said you told ooh. me. Sorry to cut you off. You said um, you discovered that you're a left-handed golfer, which was a huge, recently. huge thing in your golf game. Which is I couldn't agree more. You got to figure out what hand you are. Yeah, that's usually the first step and one that is typically intuitive. Uh, <laughs> something that you just know. But I I I am a lefty in everything, so I thought I might be a lefty. But when I started playing golf like randomly years ago. I only had righty clubs available to me, and I actually felt better doing the like interlock thing yeah. righty. So I played righty, and I was terrible. And then once we got the simulator, I was like, oh, let me try lefty. And then it was equal. Like, both were good, and I was like, I got to figure this out. And then I hurt my thumb, so I had to go back to righty because then my thumb wouldn't hurt. And then once my thumb healed, I went back to lefty, and now lefty's where it's at. Wow. But I'm like Frankie. The thing that's tricky about it is that I'm lefty, but I'm right-hand dominant. Same, yeah. So... I thought that having your right hand, like your top hand dominant would be bad for golf. So I was like, oh, I'll go righty. That took about two months. Okay. So I now, saw you swinging a similar. You look good. Yeah. I don't, I don't, thank you. I don't use my hips well. My feet, I look like I'm doing like a salsa dance. I just want to get like one lesson. I don't necessarily want to be good at golf. I simply want to have a sexy swing. That Korean guy that looks like he's on like. Kawa swing? K- yeah, that looks like he's on oh, heroin right. or like kratom when he's swinging. Like, yeah. the, like everything's in slow motion. I just want that. If I'm good at golf, great. But I want to go to that place so bad. I don't know where it is. Where he hits the ball, yeah. it's got to be just like in Japan. Or and his, I mean, his son's gonna be the greatest golfer of all time. Know. The way that that ball just launches at night. Oh, the coolest thing it's ever. That's the cheat code is at night. It's the sexy. They, I've noticed that the, the out there in either Japan or China or Korea, I don't know. They have golf courses that are lit up at night. I know. Yeah, they do. They've got a lot of those. How do we not have that? There's a couple. There's, the, there's like right now it's threes. like par threes. Yeah. It's expensive yeah. If you want to play night golf, lights. it's mostly par threes. I feel like regular golf courses, that they might view that as like tacky if you but put up a bunch of lights. Like, like people that live around those golf courses, yeah. they don't like these like late night lights being – like if you're in a community, I yeah. remember that was like – we were talking to someone that was building a golf course, and they were saying that they wanted like a par three to be – under the lights and the community was like not having it they don't want like stadium lighting in the middle of their like houses essentially it does like take a now. fuck ton of lighting so much lighting yeah. and so think about how big a golf course is so yeah. if you get light up the whole entire thing it's insane but there are a couple of them we did a we did a good good event under the lights um out in arizona it was incredible the course was so lit up it was so sick yeah speaking of good good that's what i was gonna say about bryson is is that I'm a, a YouTube golf fiend. I watch you know all your guys' videos, all pretty much everyone's videos. There's not enough YouTube golf content that I can watch because I'll just you know when videos drop, I'll watch them. Yeah. And that has got because I'm I'm and I'm looking for stuff. I'm looking for good videos. And Bryson, like I'll, I'll I've found myself watching his videos, and that's kind of how I've turned turned the cheek on him because it's like yeah. you know he's interesting. I like I like it's fun to hear pros talk about how they they view the game. It's a completely different game. I, I don't think it's fair that professional golfers are getting into YouTube. Yeah. I think that I don't think that should be allowed. I think I agree. It's it's, it's a different sport. Though. It's it's a different sport, but it's like we we're the YouTube people. Mm-hmm. You know, we're the gremlins. We're the internet creatures. You can't have the best of both worlds. And like Bryson's doing it, Akshay Patia's doing it. Like all these guys are getting into the YouTube thing, and it's like just and let us do the YouTube thing. If there's already like you're saying there's already so much YouTube golf content having a guy like Bryson in it I, I just I think I don't think that should be allowed bullshit. whatsoever it's bullshit it really is bullshit you know you should go to like a local city council especially here's Tiger Woods this is huge I got I got Tiger birdie Woods. or better on this on this par uh, par four third hole um, I want a plus 600 bet oh he pumped that one that's so go oh. all right was, we got a putt at that it was so aggressive that was. We got to putt at it. That hole is so hard, man. It really is. It's a short par four. You would think it would be easy, and it's just not. Um, but, yeah, it's like the PGA Tour won't even let us put a video out Thursday through Sunday with a P- – like if, if we play with a guy, like they won't let us put a video out on YouTube, but now all of a sudden all these professional golfers are on YouTube. So, like – What do you like, mean they won't let you? They won't let you. They own – like PGA Tour and majors is, own wait, the rights to all golfers from Thursday to Sunday. 
You'll never see a YouTube That's guy. Loco. Unless they're breaking the rules, you'll never Is see a YouTube. Is it the same with live guys, you think? I don't know. Maybe not. I wonder. Could be true. I bet it's probably more lax with live. <laughs> like, if we did a video of Bubba, I'm saying his yeah, name because I'm it's watching It's because him. of, like, the TV rights. Like, they don't want anyone to see, like, a, a Patrick Cantlay hit a golf shot unless there it's on Bubba. CBS Thursday through Sunday. That just seems really un-American to me. It's crazy. Like, that they can just do My that. My point story. is, like, these guys own Thursday through Sunday, and now fucking Bryson's going to drop on Tuesdays and Wednesdays now? I mean, come on. The guy's going to own seven days a week. Yeah, it's come not on. fair. It's really not fair at all. It really isn't. Where does, where does Wesley Bryan fall into that, into that take? Well, he's been interesting because he... It's just, like, I, I don't know. At some point, like, YouTube golfer means nothing. It's just, like, people that make content now because... He is yeah. getting it like there's this there's this tournament that Danny Rappaport was in. I think it's still under. We're not allowed to talk about yeah. it. Yeah, can't give the scores. I think away. it's in yeah. April. I'm it's excited April. to see that. And there was like all this talk about YouTube golfers trying to make the cut at a PGA Tour event. And all of a sudden, you have the Bryan brothers, who quite literally are aspiring PGA Tour pros, who play on events. One guy like Wesley's won. not even Wesley. Inspired. Yeah, Wesley. Wesley's Wesley run event. Yeah. PGA Tour player, yeah. and now we're just like putting him in a category of like YouTube golfer because he posts it. Meanwhile, we all know what YouTube golfer means. It's just like an amateur, like failed golfer that like never got a chance to make it, and now you're showing the world like there's a different style of the game. You know what I'm saying? Like that's YouTube like really golfer is what... basically it's golf is a delivery system to something else. Yeah, it's like it's like a delivery system for comedy in, in a lot of ways. That, like he's getting put in the same category as like a Fat Perez or Danny Rapp. Yeah, means... yeah. I didn't know he was in that. Th I mean, he won a PGA Tour it's event. Crazy. Like, there's no reason. All right, this here we go. Huge birdie. Birdie I mean, up. Trent. Trent. Trent was Trent's plus hot. 600 for a birdie on one. He hit it. Ooh, and then this what was win, this? This is plus 235. It would me another 700 bucks. Wow. Oh baby, come on. This would be massive. Come on, Tiger. No. Turn, no, turn, no, no shot. All right, all right. I lost two hundred bucks. That's fine. Um, that first hit though, you're good. Yeah, yeah. Did I'm you still... bet any other birdies? No, I've just been kind of going as the day goes along. I, I don't have anything. Being a Tiger Woods fan and like watching him play these majors is such a grind. Like we every single it takes years off your life. And swing feels like it might be the last one, and you're just clenching your ass to try and just get through that Dude, hole. The crazy part is they were showing 2019 highlights before the broadcast. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how much younger he looks then. I know. Like we th back in 2019, we thought that was the old Tiger because it was the spinal fusion and he'd been through a lot of injuries. If you go back and look, he looks young. I These know. last five years have put a lot of years on That's our guy. That's shocking. He didn't drive off that cliff. He was going to go on another tear. He was yeah. tearing it up leading into the Masters. Mm -hmm. He was at the Tour Championship. He was he was winning events. He was legitimately back. <laughs> Yeah. He was the best player. Won the Masters. What best player of the 2019 Presidents Cup? At like, the Presidents Cup, like in Australia, like killing it, and all of a sudden it's like, wow, maybe the last blow. It tore up a Lincoln. Yeah, yeah. this guy in the chat uh, is asking when mini golf is. It's it's going to be 6:30 Central Tea Time. Yep. Whitney's probably going to run away with it, but it's basically it's basically you're watching a stream for for three or four guys battling for $10,000. Well, so I've also which got is something, still and and the foreplay. I've the got four something going cruise. on with Will Compton. So and and Will tweeted this and we talked about it on the podcast. We've got a gentleman's wager going with Will Compton where if he beats any of us in the mini golf competition, we have to promote Bussin Golf merch, I believe it is. But if all three of the foreplay guys, me, Frankie Riggs, we all beat Will Compton in mini golf, those guys have to promote foreplay merch. So I'm currently at 17 under. Will Compton is at 23, uh, 23 under, and so I got a lot of ground to make up, and I'm very nervous about it. Was it. A nice, it was a nice gesture by us to accept that because that's a tough task to have four guys or three guys go yeah. out and beat one guy in mini golf. Mini golf's not that difficult to like stay in the mix on. It's not like you're just full swing. So it's we, true. We're talking about like Whitney is at 40 under, and I'm at like 28 or 29, whatever it might be. I. There's no chance for him to like go out of bounds today and like lose seven strokes. You know what I mean? Like, there's not just, that many holes like that. Yeah. So we are all battling for that. Second place is ten grand. Third place is five thousand. Fourth place is three thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. So we are all going to be grinding. I think in that final group, there's five of us. It's it's uh, Whitney, Marty, Mush, Francis, myself, and Riggs. One person out of that final group will not make money if we all keep going forward. I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people behind us that can also overtake us, but that's tough. Yeah, I mean, that's where it's like, obviously, you know, I, it was smart by Dave to do the tiered scoring because it happened in Arizona, too, where Kirk kind of ran away when the last holes weren't matter. Yeah. This is, this is 
four people it's four people playing for ten thousand dollars like that's exactly. that's that's a reason to tune in in its own right for sure yep yeah, it's been fun. I mean, it's I I love playing mini Dude, golf. Like I that. like almost wanted to text Dr. Brett McCabe, my my mental coach, to be like, "Why are my hands going numb when I'm like I'm very nervous out there." Me too. Like my from my elbow to my fingertips, it like legitimately like they go like zero gravity. Something it's about insane. that second round. The first round I wasn't nervous at all. Played great, and then the second round I was super nervous. I don't know. It just felt like it started to get more real. I was I, way more nervous for second round too. So and then third round, I was like, I don't give a fuck, and I played my best by far. I couldn't agree more. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I was very nervous for the second round. Yeah, I, I don't know what what it was about that, but I was very very nervous as well. But how are you guys finding Chicago? You've lived what? You lived in Boston. You lived in New York. And you lived in Chicago, Hank. If you had to rank them, I like. I mean, I like Chicago almost more. I mean, the the difference is obviously like I I when I lived in Boston, I was making twenty thousand dollars and and living in a shack basically. So Fair. I was I was living a, a much more broke lifestyle. Obviously, my friends are all from there, and I, I love living there. I, so it's Boston, close Chicago, and then New York's not even close. Like I haven't I haven't thought twice about a, a New York. I love Chicago. It's it's way everything's cheaper. You can drive around. You can drive in the city. Yeah. There's way more golf. It's like a summer city. There's there's much more to do. The food yeah. is unbelievable. The thing I've noticed is like even you go to a dive bar and you're like you know a place you'd go to like let's just go watch a game and I'll get a bite to eat. It's like that food is like the best chicken sandwich you've ever had. Like there's yeah. been so many yeah. times where like I'm at a bar just to like hang out and drink and watch a game or whatever and I just get something to eat like chicken tenders and it's like these are unbelievably good. Yeah. So Chicago I think clears New York in, in pretty much every category for me at least. I love it. Yeah, chicken that's good. Parm, the chicken parm heroes are a problem out here for sure. Everything's a problem. No, no, they, they make no, like he's healthy. They make way. healthy. Oh, oh no, like, not good. It wasn't good. Uh, the food's phenomenal out here. There's no denying it. Uh, Jersey Jerry, I think, is a little homesick in terms of his Jersey food that he used to get. He keeps talking about how that you can't get a good deli sandwich out here. You can't get a good chicken farm hero. We put the hero one to the test. It was true. Like it's tough. Like they don't. It's not that like northeast thin crust. Whatever. That's one thing that I've noticed. I love. Chicago style pizza. I love the deep dish, and I do love the tavern style. Oh my god, Scotty, Scotty. almost fell. Oh that, my god, that's, that, in the water. that's gotta go. It's in the water. Fuck. Yeah. Oh boy. It's all right. It's you might be five. getting. You might be getting a text from Dave Porter here in a second. Oh five. boy. Did I hear that? If it's, it's just such okay. a tough. Like was he was Sheffler saying, it's like UConn, but UConn is like. With the golf, anyone can win this, dude. UConn, it's so UConn was it's, it's the golf is like you get hot, you have a good couple dude, days. Basketball is just not like that. Picking a golfer to win any golf tournament is impossible. Like I don't, I don't, I don't know how the odds work. I get that they're like pretty similar to what they always are, but to pick one golfer to win a golf tournament, and this would be an easy one because there's only 89 people in the field as opposed to other majors where there's 150. But to pick one golfer, golf is impossible. You go, you're on streaks. Now, with that said, Scotty is the best bet because he's the best golfer in the world, but you just never know. You never know, but he's proving that, like, the bet is correct. Like, you didn't know I that agree. Dice, Bryson DeChambeau was going to go out there and shoot a 65. But if you look at the rest of the leaderboard, he's one off of second place right now. He just hit in the water. I get it. But he's doing the thing that we expected him to do. I and agree. And that's why he is the favorite. Like, he didn't come out here and go three over to start the day. He has not had a, a round under par in, like, six months. Uh, over par in like six months this guy he's legitimately setting records for going under par and you're like you have to bet that guy he has the best chance of winning he's at three under right now through 12 he's right there it's as far as betting goes he yeah he's he had to be the favorite this is what tiger used to be like i was a little too young to like really enjoy it and obviously betting wasn't as prominent and, and prevalent back then it wasn't sexy what tiger would do he would like, salt people away right but like he every just be... single week you're like he's gonna win and then he just did yeah yeah, he would just go. Yeah, he would do what Scheffler's doing. If Scheffler keeps it like this, he'll shoot at sixty-nine. That's what Tiger would do. Just methodically wait for everybody else to collapse. 69, 68 like we had win. Ryan Fox earlier, who was at five hundred top of the leaderboard. Gone. I texted my buddies. I said, "How fast are you going to forget about Ryan Fox?" And two holes later, he was out of the top five. Danny Will shot at sixty-eight today. By Saturday, gone. Gone. Fitzpatrick will probably still be there as Al Torres well, is good. Might have a chance. Yeah. I bet Brooks, and I don't know. Danny Will won though. Right? I, yeah, I bet, he, he I bet won. Bro but I bet Brooks. I'm a big. I don't. I don't know if there's any credence to that, but I'm. A, and it's definitely a hundred percent just because of Phil last year, where I was like, damn, Phil just still has it. It's like he's at the Masters. Like, if no, you've won true. before, that's true. if you've won before, like, there's a lot of you can stick around. There's a lot of guys that have people who like Augusta play well at Augusta. That's true. Here goes Max Homa, par three, fourth hole. Oh, Ooh, Max. over the stick, over the green. And I'm a big. I'm a big. I'm a big. Max fan. You would have, we would have lost that bet that first uh, three holes because Max and Tiger tied. Oh, yeah. Both went under. Nope. Max is tuned into the streamer boys, too. 
Yeah, Max. Uh, we used to play Call of Duty with Max. Yeah, he also will randomly, like, you know, sometimes people will, like, tag you and stuff on, like, Instagram or send you something. Yeah. There's been a couple times he's, he sent me something on TikTok. And, like, I'm not even really active on TikTok. And I don't think he is either. It's the most random, like, no he's just sending me random videos. And, like, I'm like, is this Max? Like, this is a fake Max Holman. It's like, no, Max Holman. He has, like, 10,000 followers. It's so such a weird it's one. It's the dude, randomest like... form of communication, like, He'll send you it's, videos in like a... It's, only, it's happened a couple times where it's like he just tagged, you know, like... That happened to me with Jersey Jerry. Me. I followed... I, and I'm like, I oh, this is a fake Max Homa. It's not as true now as it, as it has been like last couple years, but there was a time when Max Homa was like the best golfer on planet Earth. And the fact that he was still on Twitter, he was sending you videos on TikTok, like that... I know he was originally... No, look at that swing from Tiger. Safe. Saw it off. Maybe we'll see from the middle. Oh! Blew over the green. He's like juiced up or something. The wind is also insane. Yeah, true. He's got a nice little fluffy lie there. Yeah. Is uh, Joel Dahman in this? Da- Dahman? Joel Damon. Damon, whatever. Rudy Rudy might be the only Joel Damon hater on the planet. You don't like him? Well, I talked to Trent about it this morning. I think that ball wasn't in the water. Oh, yeah, he's fine. That's oh, a birdie. Wow. birdie. Oh, he's fine. Yeah. Uh, he's playing eagle there. He almost chipped in. Fine. I, I'm getting into golf, and I watched, I'm watched. i watching Full Swing Season 2 right now. And I'm willing to admit that the edit probably didn't do him any favors, but I watched the his episode last night and i just couldn't stand it i couldn't stand him really because he likes to have a couple drinks no i well that's fine you can have a couple drinks but i was just like it was just endless of like oh like you're you're he was just him being like i'm not practicing well i don't really i'm not really trying did you watch season and all of his friends are like you need to see a sports psychologist and he's like i don't really want to and then they show um Wyndham Clark. Wyndham Clark. And he's like, yeah, I saw that he saw a sports psychologist immediately wins the U.S. Open. He's like, I don't know. I don't really feel like it. I was like, this guy's just like being a dickhead. Yeah. Yeah, you're definitely the only person with that take. It was <laughs> It was a little bit. He, I think the edit did he him got dirty. fucked by the edit. For it's sure. TV. They had to make a TV. Like they would show Wyndham like working out in the gym. And the next at the next cut was him ordering was Joel ordering a beer where it's like you're just showing him out to dinner with his friends. Like you're acting like that's happening every single night. It's all one restaurant. Like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah they had a. Co- I think yeah. you said it on 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 PMT, but the the funniest one of those was from the first season with Brooks when he was just a miserable oh. fuck. Wouldn't yeah. even, wouldn't and even then, acknowledge and then his dog. Like Scotty and his <laughs> wife in a small Bible. town, like <laughs> yeah. yeah, small town Texas. Like that was like those were laugh out loud like when they do that. Casino noises and showing like his wife in a bikini jumping into like an infinity pool, and then <laughs> yeah. the next scene yeah. was a very small house. In Texas, and they're reading the Bible together, yeah. like our favorite proverb. It yeah, is. that was that was proverb. a laugh. Proverb. 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 <laughs> proverb. <laughs> it's uh, it is. I mean, that's TV. They do have to have those contrasting stories for it to like hit. But yeah, oh, we yeah. like we love Joel Damon. That's Stay. our guy. No, Stay. no, 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 Listen, no, no, yeah, no, 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 Scotty for Here birdie Scotty here. for birdie. Just a kick in bird. Bang. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Almost lipped and it. And there's Scotty Scheffler. Four under through 13. About to go into 14, 15, 16, where he absolutely will make another maybe two birdies. Let's see where we got 14, 15. Yeah. 15 he's going to make. 15's a par five. Um, John Rom kind Rom's of feeling like he's been all over the planet. Struggling today. I bet him to win. Rom's a big confidence guy, builds off confidence, I feel like. And I don't know, and maybe it's just buying into the storylines. The the live move, I think, with him is going to mess him up mentally than more people. Yeah, yeah. Because he, he was he, everyone's champion. He was everyone's guy. Like, he, he cried about, like, after he won, he, one of the things he got most emotional about was, like, oh, I had... I had Augusta National in America cheering on a kid from like a, a kid from Spain. He's like, very into the history. Like into the history, he's like the, like he's like the fans like were so behind me, and that meant more than anything. Like me and Sevi, like they welcome us as their own. Bite. And now he's just got that little thing in the back of his head where he's like, "Do they hate me? Do they like me? Do they not like me?" Well, and he also admitted he watched the Players Championship and was like, "That was an incredible golf tournament. I wish I was playing there. Waste management. I wish I was playing in that event." Like. He is the one guy. Everybody else, you not everybody, but a lot of the guys on Live, you could make the argument where they're just like, they're very much bag chasers, and they're just happy to have their oh hundred God. Tyrrell hat and bang. How sick is That's that? a Live guy. Not, not, um, not, but it's the, it's the seven winners. What's that? He's not on the, on the list. Oh, Tyrrell's not? No. It's the seven winners, because that's where it's like it's like Schwartzel and uh, like Bubba and stuff that they're not going to do shit probably. But, Got it. And then Brooks came. 
Bryson. Yeah. Long story short, John Rahm is definitely torn up about the decision he made. Does he have five hundred mil- un- extra million dollars in his bank account? Yeah, which is sick. But I also think he's going to really try to get. Um, he's going to lobby for these tours to get back together. How but much does it make you want to play golf watching this? A game? lot. It's so bad. Insane. A lot. Should we? That's a good. That's a good. That's a good, uh, that's a good, that's a good segue. segue. We, we can play some golf. We're going to okay. come out here, by the way, and um, we're going to find a golf course. We're doing barstool golfs with all the Chicago people. So I'm gonna come out and, and we're gonna get a golf course to give us like two or three days worth of tee times. Hopefully, we'll we'll p- position it out, and I want to see how everyone does. We're gonna do like the Chicago version of it so that everyone plays on that one golf course. Yeah, ooh, I like that. That's my, fun. One of my wow. goals, oh. one of my legit goals, once we got the sim and I my was getting into it, was, golf to, was to get on a nightmare. Video. Still, I want to get out there, but I, I'm not. I don't want any favors. Yeah, Rudy, we should play this weekend. You, um, I don't have clubs. You can, uh, you can do it now on the Chicago side now. Like I said, everyone. Can oh yeah, no, I know. I, 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 my that still gives me nightmares. I need some redemption. What a shot from Scotty. Um, oh let's yeah, do it. let's play. What are we doing? Go? Something at four, right? Yeah, we're gonna. We're there. I'm just waiting to, if they're set up. I, we're okay. gonna do like a 20 minute interview, but okay. maybe Rudy and Trent, Trent can play Rudy, in the why meantime. Why don't you just rip around? Then we'll just be behind you. We don't even have to. Well, yeah, or Rudy. Maybe Rudy and Trent play as. Oh, true. Frank and Trent. Let's. We can do like. Oh. Uh, you want to do like a nine hole match? Oh, yeah. weird. Oh, that's I don't know if I can play it. Trent, I love you, dog. I don't know if I can. I've played with you before. It is a... Uh, it's a grind. I, 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 I've... <laughs> so my dad's been uh, playing a lot of... <laughs> my, my, I got my dad a PlayStation. There's a new era about to dawn at the most magical setting in golf. Four! I'm sorry. I apologize to Mr. Burrell. He said that like, he liked playing with Tiger, and he liked playing with the big guys, and then he goes, I tried to play with Trent. And wow, they made that difficult. I told <laughs> I, I know balls going sideways. I, I think the furthest you could hit the ball is like two ten. He's playing. It's real. Yeah, it's awesome. It's real. I told the two K people who made the game. I was like, do not, because they've got no offense to these guys, but like Michael Jordan and Steph Curry, they can hit it like three hundred and thirty yards. And it's like, no, no, no. If you're gonna put me in the video game, I want to hit my driver two hundred five. I want balls going sideways. And I want it to be tough. To break a hundred. What's Tiger Woods Tiger doing? Tiger Woods, he's gonna have to hit a little. Is he gonna flop this or go into the fucking? He went into. That it was awful. No. No, I think that was too much. Oh, it's a bogey. Oh boy. God, that fourth hole is so hard. What right. format are we gonna play, Rudy? Uh, what do you want? I don't care. What are you vibing with? Wait, so we have another controller. Okay, we have another controller. So me and you can play. Yeah, I'll be Frankie. Are you gonna be? be are you gonna be Trent? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't. In the video game, it's fine. Um, I'm just gonna use this mic. And I'm now. ambidextrous, homeboy. Oh, PlayStation controllers are sick. I'm just gonna okay, use what's this the mic. Name of, All right. What's the Scotty name of, on 14. What's the name of this game or this course? The one I wanted. Where are you? I think it's Lone Grove. It's like I put like I put 400 on Scotty to win. Lone it's Grove. Like I more. That's how confident I am. On I should put a thousand bucks on this guy. How's Brooks right now? I bet on him. He just missed a birdie putt. Scotty Fuck yeah, dude. That's awesome. insane. Yeah, dude. He's the best golfer on the planet. It, it, with all this, it, it's like he doesn't even have that much pressure. I, I feel like we're all talking about it. He doesn't even give a fuck. Look at this guy with the – I cannot believe Matt Fitzpatrick is, is chipping still cross-handed. That was a mediocre chip. Like said the guy who can't a, break that's 90. A, that's a major mental lapse that he has to do that, that he can't get through just chipping regular. They're showing this too quick. This is obviously. Are you gonna nice. be you? <gasps> he made it. Nope. You gotta be you, right? Yeah, sure. I love, I love your your stat map. <laughs> Bro, it's... power is incredible. <laughs> okay. Yeah, man, I'm 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 a bad golfer. Okay, hold on. Let me get let me get let me get the yoke. Frankie, Frankie Borelli, Borelli, dude. Yeah, you do, you are not that cut, dude. You look like a house. That's a house, not you, man. dude. Look at my neck, my shoulders. God, if I had those arms, it'd be I'd be such. Okay, a hold on. Should we yeah, do... you look you look more you look thicker than I do, dude. And they made you so small, Trent. I know. I wish this. I wish this were the diet that I was on. I wish I looked like that. I'm talking like height wise. You're not. We that talked short. with PGA Tour 2K, and they showed me some stuff for you know. I'm not saying if they're making a new game, but you know that they're always working on something. But I saw a little glimpse of like what they might be working on, Ooh. and the graphics are out of control. I can't wait. Like. If Stroke. we are in it, let's if, do no. Let's do match play. If okay. we're blessed to be in this game again, seeing Trent with the new engine that they're working on is absolutely absurd. 
Like every little hair will be visible. Mm. No, no, let's do this scar right here. Let's do let's do white teeth. <laughs> oh come on, Trent. No, no, do the blue. Make it a little hard. All right, yeah, blue. Greens on, are dude. insane. You're gonna be hitting like driver off the deck on every hole. Yeah, let's do blue. Okay, and then front nine. Front nine. No, let's do back nine, dude. I'm Whatever a back, you want to do. Back nine, boy. Uh, uh, I okay. Think that's all good. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, oh Maddie fits. All right. Yeah, no, it's um, it's it's tough to play with my guy, but that's people are getting a taste of what it's like to be inside my body. I don't know what uh, our current. Okay, so one thing when you get going, you have to hit start and okay. then assign controller. Okay. And your game time guess, and so now we're good. But once you go, you'll do that. Okay, Frankie. Let's go. Thirteen mile per hour wind. Yikes! That's All right. I don't know exactly what difficulty we're on, so. Is there any way I can make my? Is it right, is it gonna be luck. is it gonna Player. be yeah is it gonna be right stick swing? swing stick, yeah, I would swing love stick. if it were left. Is you that want left swing yeah. stick? That's what I always do. Oh really? Hit start. Right here. Well, first of all, let me get you right. Let me get you right. Yeah, I don't. I for whatever reason, people think this is the weirdest thing in the world. But when I play, when I've played every golf game growing up, I've had the left joystick be my swing, and everybody else does right, even though I am right-handed. I don't know. I don't know why. Uh, I've never even heard of that. I don't even know. Okay, controls. Let me see if I can do this for you even. Uh, swing input, swing yeah. stick, right stick, aim. No. Wait, is it going to let me do it? It might not even let me do it. I don't even know if that's possible. I mean, I can, I'll, I'll power through it, but. I just want people to know that I, I think you just made that up as a built-in excuse. It's not. That's not. I've, there's you might be able to do it in like the menu of the game, but I don't know if you can do it. All in right. The game. I'm just gonna. That's I'm gonna like grind some, through that's it. That's some crazy. That's like a. That's one of the wildest things I've heard. Is I'm gonna grind through it. So it's this one. Oh boy. Okay. I mean, you could move your hand and you could use your left. Oh, I could. <laughs> I could go cross-handed. Yeah, like a claw grip. I. But I. I ah. I don't think that's going to work. Oh, they're saying in the chat, right stick aim. Hold on. I think I can get it for you. Okay. Thank you, chat. Shout out to the chat. Uh, right stick aim. Okay, yeah. I saw that, and I didn't know if that was it. Hold on. Oh, I guess it would make sense. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Right stick. Because that means that the left stick is usually the aim. So that Scotty Scheffler, 14th hole. Approach shot. 118 yards out. He's going to put this right next to the hole, right? Okay. That should do it. Oh, he went a little deep. Okay. I don't think that did it, but let me uh, see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me I see. I just tried it for you. Nope, didn't work. That's okay, guys. Oh boy. Mm. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna power through here. You're gonna power. Well, hold on. Let's think about the. I'm, I, I'm playing against you. I'm not gonna give you tips. Just think about the window, maybe. But mm. where's? It's a big fairway, right? It I is. guess yeah, it's not it that is. big. It is. It is. But who knows where this ball is gonna go? Oh, that'll oh, play. Oh, Rudy. That'll play. Oh, Rudy. That'll play. I got to get my, my, my tempo down here. You're away. <laughs> <laughs> I really got to get my tempo down here. I, 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 I feel for you. Playing with your guy, your tempo is a hard one to find. It's like jazz. There is no tempo. <laughs> right. It's just a bunch of symbols going off. Yeah. A lot. It's, it's just, oh, I'm up again. Okay. Yeah, you're away. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I just wish you'd respect the wind. I just it, – it's not going to matter with the way that my swing is. I, I forgot sure. how hard it is to play with my guy. Oh, I forgot Frankie's a lefty. That's actually good. You hit the first one lefty. Yeah, I know, but I forgot. Wait, now I think mine is the one that's – Oh, wait. Now I think my, I did it to mine by accident. But can you – are you able to swing with your left joystick? Because that's what I'm looking for. Let me see real quick. Oh no! So yeah, I did yes. It. All right. So okay, okay. So okay. it's pl you can do it by on player two, right? Probably. Yeah, but I did it on your controller, which is why it was weird. I don't. I'm hoping that it doesn't. Why did it do it to? Because I think. Look. Oh wait! No, I actually don't know. Okay. I'm I'm trying to figure out why it did it to mine and not yours when I use your controller. But whatever, we'll figure it out. Okay. Little nine mile is gonna push this. We're gonna trickle this right in. We're gonna 
gonna trickle this right in. I want you to see. I want you to bear witness. I'm already, <laughs> I'm already, f I'm on my fourth. I'll be on my fifth That's shot. That's actually here. fucking erotic. Oh, it didn't go as far as I thought. All right, so we got to figure out. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's see something real quick. All right, let me see your controller. Maybe it's because we're, you were up when I did it, though. Let's see. We'll so do listen. it. We'll do. We'll do on this one, and we'll see if it if it if we can't if it does it for me too, then you might just be fucked. But I could actually do just to make because I have so much of a better golfer. Maybe. But it didn't change it there, or did it? It did. I'm so confused. It's okay. My, my brain hurts. Maybe I'll do it your way just to give a little parody. My brain. Wait. So no, look. See, still. That's very odd. But look here. Let me show you something here. If we go. Where's the hit right trigger to go to the settings right here? Yeah. So if we go to control yeah. and it's it's swing, it's right stick aim. Yeah. What if we did oh, this? Oh, it's a guess. Yes, okay, that's yes, why. yes. So exactly, exactly. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. So right here? Yeah, do that. Now yeah, that's what I was looking at. Now you should be Gucci. Nice Just job. hit B? Yeah. I'm looking at the chat right now. Thank you. Right aim guest, you fucks. Thank yep, you. Yep, we got yep, it. Yep. I, All right. I am a fuck. Thank we you. We got there. Yep. Um, listen, I'll take the fuck call there. Now it's gonna make it's just gonna make a huge difference, I'm sure. That made a little bit of a difference. He's on the dance floor. Can barely hear the music. Your way. That's what my dad would always say. He's still alive. I shouldn't have made it in the past tense. Why do you have a purple putter? I didn't pick these things. But it's based on your life. But I don't think. What the f what the heck? It's okay. What the heck? Don't worry about it. What am I doing? I don't think you. I don't know what you're doing. I back and then forward. I don't know what you're doing. I want you to hit the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm going back. And then forward. I would really like for you to hit the ball. But look at this. Bear witness to this, I'm my friend. I'm bearing witness. Oh, there we go. Assassin. I'm going to make a nine on this hole or whatever. I'll make a seven. But I'm just getting my sea legs under me here. Oh, that's such a good putt. Good putt, yeah. Also, I had turned off the game audio because we were talking earlier, so I'm going to turn that back on. Okay. It's probably mad awkward for the people in chat right now. What is that? Were they just like, when we're quiet, we're quiet? It's just dead silent other than our voices. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's no ambiance, no birds chirping. I gotcha. I feel, I feel hot. It gets hot in here. Okay. It gets hot in here. It's not just you. Okay. okay. Hold on. Let me get this. Let me get this audio right. Who are we watching here? I can't believe DeShambo shot a 65. He got lucky with the draw, with the, with the weather. Yeah, we got to get that ambiance, dude. It's crucial. Get the crowd way up. Okay. All right. Rory, what a putt. All right. How's Rory done this year? He has been, he's hasn't been playing that great um, compared to his other years, but I really want him to win a Masters. I'm a huge I'm a huge 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 Rory fan. Oh, it's going right. Fuck my tight ass, dude. I mean, I would take that all day right now. Okay, win ten, hitting a four iron, up fourteen feet. But I, I mean, a uh, four iron. Then I'm gonna hit a, I'm gonna hit a hybrid up there. No, I think I like the wind. Ooh, Ooh, that came a little left. Get, if that gets, that's a good shot. Let's go. Oh, we Trent. Okay. Uh oh. Can't believe that ball's still rolling. That's unfortunate. That was a pretty good shot. It was. You deserve better. Thank you. Give me a little. Give me a little more here. Yeah, there we go. Do you have the flop shot in your game? Nope. I got that. In real life, though. No, okay. uh, not in the video game or in real life. I always end up hitting the ball in the forehead, and it goes 100 miles. I don't even ever really try it in rounds. I like to take the wedge out of my hand, put the Texas, uh, put the Texas wedge in my hand. Oh, I love that. From everywhere. A little bump and run. You better watch out. I'm like, I, I'm starting to feel good over these. Oh, I gave it a little bit too much juice. 
Don't let me get one back. Don't let me win this hole now. It's cash money records. Don't even think. Let's about go. How did that not and break? And it's match play. So I made it. I made what a nine on the first hole. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I know. I just. I just wish you'd hit it, dude. You want me to bear witness that worked last time? <laughs> yeah, please bear witness to me hitting yeah. this putt. Didn't work. What am I doing wrong? I don't think you're pulling it back far hard enough. But I, I, I don't want to. Well, I, I don't know what to tell you. I think, I think you're pulling it back like too slow. Almost. I like because then I can control my speed. Well, I don't, at this point, I just want you to hit the ball. There you go, baby. What was different? I won the hole. I don't know. No you difference. Won that hole? No Fuck difference. Me. We're all, we're all square, my friend. Yep. Your t your tee box, dude. Tiger Woods hitting his approach shot. Perfect tempo. All right, we'll take that. That's no problemo. My guy's caddy bib has the last name Bush on it because of Alex Bush, our podcast producer, if people are wondering. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. That's going up the fucking country mile. Frankie with a 350-yard drive. Don't worry about the downhill or the enormous hurricane winds behind me. That's going to be fine. Okay. I'm playing some golf now. You are. But I'm hunting for this hole. You are. You're going forward and two here. This is a scary shot because I got to play this downhill and the wind. This could – I mean, I'd rather go long than short. That's for show. This is scary. Come on. Come on, Frankie. Get there. Be there. Wow. Great shot. Really good. This is what our third shot's looking like. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Dude, if I hit the green, that may have been money. You're chipping. You're just. I mean, you're you're chipping away. I know. Let's see. I need you. I need you to miss a couple putts here. I put a lot of juice on that. You but made that's it. Fall. Good putt. All right. You're up one. Mm. I like. I love these. Microphone arms. They're, They're like cool. legit. They're cool, huh? They're legit. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is horrifying. Why would you put a river right here? <laughs> I think that's more of a crick. It might be. That was perfect. That was just dialed. 332 yards I for... feel comfortable in Frankie's skin. Mm. <laughs> it is hot in here. Uh oh, that's in the crick. No, it might be good. Short of the crick. Now that's my real golf game. Damn it. Rudy, say pawn. I don't know what that means. Jaw. Or else you use all your bets. All right, I said jaw. We should be good. What's, what's that? I don't know, but I'm worried about it. Cause they, I, when that, when do I they try to make you say like racist I, yeah, things? Yeah, that's, that's, my, that's my grand concern right now. <laughs> Don't don't let them. I'm not gonna let them. Okay, good. I'm focused on one thing and one thing only, and that's finding this thing, dude. I don't like how realistic. Uh, like, shout out to 2K for the realism. I don't like seeing a virtual Frankie this realistic. It actually makes me feel. It looks. This looks just like him. That, I've golfed with him hundreds of times. This is. This looks just like him. This I'll, side profile. I'll try to just do. I'll do an impersonation of Frankie here. I'll try to sound like him. Ready? Yeah, yep. Uh. He does do that. Oh my god. Dart. He does that. He moans a lot. He's a big moaner. I think it's going to be good. <laughs> I don't. You didn't lie. You thought it was going to be good. I really. That yeah. was. In my brain, I thought that was going to be good. Ah. Ooh, that hill, though. I know, but you're just. You're going to beat me here. Why is the ball so wrong? I don't know. You're, I'm listening to what you're doing to that controller, and you are beating that thing up. <laughs> Don't worry it about it. It sounds like it's going to snap every time you hit that <laughs> stick. I do press really hard. It sounds like a chiropractor's office right here. I went to the chiropractor two weeks ago. It was awesome. You know, it would be really awesome if I could putt. It would be really cool if you could just... I wish I could understand what's happening. 
<laughs> Whatever, dude. Yeah. Whatever. You can sink this, you'll go two up. Yeah, you're gonna beat me on this hole too. God damn it. Jason Day's pants are just way too big. I was today. gonna say that earlier, but you guys, you guys were just in the flow. His we pants are far too big. They're just yeah. Puke. It's Malvin, and they're that's they're like the cool guys on the scene, and they're trying to be different. That one, that the the MC Hammer pants are a little bit too much. Well, big pants are cool, but it's hard to do that when you're tucking as well. If you're tucking big right. pants, that's immediately when you get into MC territory. Dude, I wore a linen shirt and linen pants the other day. You look sexy. I'm not Thank you. I appreciate that. I, I actually paused for a second because I, w- I wanted you to react, and you said the right thing. And I already bought, like, three linen shirts, linen shorts, linen pants, because we were shooting yeah. a commercial, so I had to give the, the pants and the shirt back. But I'm about to, I'm about to have a ton of linen. It's such a perfect natural progression from your crew neck khakis. Yeah. To just straight linens. Just linen. Yeah. Just linen. It's so soft and free-flowing. Oh, I love it. All right, that's two good swings in a row. That'll work. Good shot. Should I go DOD? No, 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 no. Shout out to DOD King. This is a colossal hole. Oh, Christ, the Redeemer. Oh, we're fine because this is an absolute. Opens up over there. Big opening. I approve. I've still got three wood in my hands here. You can probably club up. No, but I i mean, it's just my guy doesn't hit very far. It's another good swing there. Oh, my God. Nice. Yes. What's was that your doing? second shot or what your did, third? That was my third. I really got to nestle this in here. Oh, Matt. Get right. That's right at it. Oh, oh I put too much spin on it. I that. love, I always put spin on my ball just because it's cool. It is cool. He first timed it. First time. Get up there. It's not, not terrible. At least let me just tie a hole here. I can't have you win another one. Oh, I pussyfooted it. Fuck. All right, come on now. Be somebody. Feet away. We're fine. This one's oh! Okay, you can go three up for the match. Out to mama. Three up on your friend. All right, you want another one? Well, see if you can use the tail. Don't I have three? I'm running out of holes here, yeah. You are. If you win this hole, it's over. Oh, heads up. Someone just someone his life just got irreversibly changed in the crowd. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a lot of a lot more straws yep. in their future. Yep, yep, yep. I hope you got insurance. Alright. I gotta I gotta pull. I I have to win this hole. this could go no you're okay you're okay that's dude that's up and down territory <sighs> i'm into woof oh this is kind of tricky i gotta do some mental math here i'm i'm heavy rough but i have a backwind and it's down 20 feet this is a tough shot i am actively rooting against jason day in his pants bounce left oh i might God. be a savage Oh shit, fuck. Okay. Nice. I still got my work cut out for me here. Careful with that chip. From watching full swing, I yeah. mean I know that it's like they're talking about like, you know, com- like all athletes are very it's difficult mentally any any professional sport yeah but it is a crazy collection of like the most depressed <laughs> millionaires yeah it's crazy like all of, i mean they always focus on guys like ricky comeback story like people that are struggling and like how they're going to get back you know yeah 
but it's like crazy that all these guys are just like like absolutely mentally struggling in humongous mansions it's true they're the best they're the best in the world at the hardest game. So, like, they've seen the peaks, and then there's they still see valleys, and they, like, can't believe it. But they do have mansions. Mm-hmm. Ooh, nice That's putt. huge. That's, That's huge, because at least I get to play another hole. Yeah, that is a nice one. I'm dormy, though. Shout out Jeff D. Lowe. Why shout out Jeff Dilo? He loves saying dormy. Does he? In the dozen, there's nothing There's nothing that gets his gears going more than being able to say dormy. <laughs> we haven't played a dozen match in a while. We've been traveling a bunch. Jeff's been hitting us up, but we've just been busy. Yeah. I really want to play again. We're really bad, but it's really fun. Oh, you have no idea how bad my team is this year. We're on a skid like you wouldn't believe. 0-7. Oh, Scotty, what a shot. What is it? You, Kevin, and... Jack McCarthy. Yeah. Ooh, nice draw Get up, you... Get in the bunker. Sorry. Fuck me. Had to. It's okay. Facts. Be good. Mm, Get up there. That'll work. No, I, see, now I can't tie holes anymore. I got to win holes. Mm -hmm. Okay, second shot here on the 16th. Ooh, nice. Oh, <gasps> good. Oh, my God. That was. A... Setting up in... How's Frankie out of the bunkers usually? In real life? Yeah. Good. Nice. Look at his cute, soft little face. Oh, All right, you can miss that. I can miss that to win the match. Miss oh, it. Dude, this is a, this is a gimme for me. Player, player of my caliber, this is a miss this it. is a fucking gimme, dude. Fucking miss it, you piece of shit. This is a fucking you gimme for a piece of shit. Of Fuck caliber. you, miss it. Fuck God damn it. Perfect speed. Perfect speed. I should have thrown that. No, it's okay. I want to win. I want to lose with honor. I can't. All right, well, good match there. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna go take a piss real quick. You can watch uh, before we go again or whatever. Okay. You, can, you can watch a little bit of golf and talk to the talk to the people, or talk right. to yourself, or just shut up. I don't care. Oh, it'd be weird if I just sat here in silence. I feel like that would <laughs> that's like not the move. I don't know. Maybe that's the future of streaming. You yeah. just you just sit in silence. But I'm just gonna watch the golf. I think. What is what is Brooks at? I put I put 500 bucks on him to win. And I know he bogeyed the first hole, which was stupid. Uh, Scheffler. Oh, yeah, there's the chat. Oh, okay. What's up, V-Man? What's up, Stone Cheese? Is that what that says? Yeah. Uh, Max Homa teeing off on the sixth hole. Just show me Tiger or Brooks because those, you know, those are the ones I have rooting interest in. I did hear you, yeah. Well, I didn't hear you. I, I read you. All right, good shot by Max. I don't want. I, yeah, whatever. Rory approach on fifteen. Two under. All right, he's bounced back a little bit here. What's the what's the scene like uh, in like live people live streaming their golf? Do people do that? I've, like, seen, I've seen one person do it, but is there someone other people that live stream their whole round? Like real actual golf, not video game golf. Yeah, real golf. I don't know if I've seen much of that at all. I would like to do that. That's not a bad idea. That because right now it's all fully edited, like YouTube beautiful drone shots, the graphics, the whole nine. I haven't seen much of like, here I'm just live streaming. My, well, we played in the Good Good event down in Arizona. Mm -hmm. That was live stream golf, but that was like a tournament. That right. was like an alternative YouTube big, golf tournament. And that's like a big production. Big production. Right. Big, big, big production. Yeah, I'm talking. I'm, I'm going like I'm indie style. Yeah, if you're going indie, if you're going artsy indie yeah. style, you could do like a phone or or, or a or handheld if you, camera. If you get a, str a streaming backpack, you could do it. Is that what you need? If you want to do it correctly, yeah, then it would, the signal would be better. But then, I mean, obviously, you wouldn't be able to track the shots as well, but it's more so just the vibe. It's also just a way of, like, 
being able just to play golf and then feeling like you're working. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, Which like is we, the ultimate goal of every Barstool employee. Like we, uh, <laughs> like we, um, like it'd be cool if at one point. Sorry, I'm watching Tiger Woods shot yeah, here. Oh, if at one point like we could do a live stream breaking ninety. Oh, you know be, what I mean? That'd be money because it's cool to. It's obviously cool when we film it and we edit it and and like all that, but to show people in real time, like I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna try to break ninety, and imagine I need like a par bogey on the 18th hole. And it's live stream, and everybody's like, "Holy shit, this is this could happen." That'd be pretty cool. That's probably where the future is. Rory, rolling it up. Go so there's drive I, I, by on the hole. I'm so uninformed about streaming. There, people just stream their whole lives. Uh, that the that's called IRL streaming. Yeah, which is in real life. Yeah, and that's always been a thing. But I would say in the last like year there's been a lot more people doing like full-on irl that's like is that like the kai sinet and aiden ross is that that uh, world they do it like if kai like goes on a trip he'll go to if he like well, he went to japan he just went to jamaica they'll do irl there and a lot of streamers will do japan for irl because it's like a very stimulating cool place sure that makes sense and there's guys that do irl streaming full-time where they're but th they travel a ton um but then there's other guys that just do straight up like the, the, their whole life like kai's main thing is he sits in a room yeah and primarily. streams and people come in like rappers come in and celebrities come in yeah and that's it that's yeah. fucking cool yeah it's really cool and he also i mean he's a variety streamer so he does gaming and everything he'll like just talk he'll talk he'll watch videos react to videos that's so gaming. interesting yeah, yeah i watch i get a lot of tiktoks of uh live streamers reacting to like the j cole diss or mm -hmm. like shit like that i think that's pretty cool what do you think of the J Cole diss? I mean, I thought it was good. I I was I'm stunned by what's happened since. The, the apology was weird. I don't like that. I I'm I, like I thought the Kendrick song, the Kendrick verse was great. Um, I like I like people rocking the boat. That's fun. That's like one of the foundations of hip hop. And then the response is also a foundation of hip hop. But then to be like to take it down and then to apologize for it was bizarre. Yeah, it kind of just made it not fun. It made it like there's in, in all the scenarios where it was like either so Kendrick fires a shot, there's a couple scenarios that could happen. J. Cole doesn't respond, J. Cole does respond, and in no world did I see a third option where he responds, deletes it, and apologizes. Yeah. Stunning. Stunning. It's but, so against the whole notion of a diss track. It's to apologize. And, and I like J. Cole and I think he's incredible. Me too. Um, but that was a, those were weird two moves in a row where I was like I don't understand what's happening. Now Drake could still get involved, which would be very fun. Well, here's the thing: he did title that surprise album "Might Delete Later," and so he did. He I did know. say "Might Delete Later," but it's like, don't do that. <laughs> Just don't do that, hard, dude. It's like I want to see Kendrick and and J Cole go at it. Like that's fun. That makes things very interesting. But like I said, Drake can still do it. Drake can Drake can fire a shot, and it can be Drake versus Kendrick. I would I'll be interested in that as well. Yeah, that, I mean that's that's what sets this live stream apart from all the other ones. Dude, we're talking golf, we're playing golf, and we're talking rap music. I do love rap music. I know you do. I do too. I've fallen. I'm a bit. I'm. Tur I just turned 35 a couple weeks ago, so I'm sort of turning into the guy where, and I try not to be where it's like, oh, I like the old stuff better. I like the 90s. I like the 2000s. But I do still like some of the new stuff, and it's. It's fun to get into it. It's oh, I've been trying to help you out. I've tried to convert you to a vamp, remember? I gave you a whole crash course on Whole lot of Red. That was tough for I me to listen to. I know it was. That made me feel like I was listening to jazz. But you were receptive. I was. I tried. You like, were kind enough to at least listen and, and look. What's wh wh Playboy Cardi? Yeah. That like I'm trying to listen to that. It's it's just different. It hits my ear in a different way. Um, I would never force you to like it either. I know, and I'm not going to pretend like I do like it, but I wish I don't. But I also don't want to be the guy in the room who's being like, I remember when it was Tupac and Biggie, and that was, the, you know, that's, that's real hip hop. It's like hip hop is more than anything else. It's like the cool people, the cool young people deciding what's cool. 100%. Like people, I can, you can talk to me about lyrics and like all the, the styles, and but what hip hop is, is, is like they're setting the tone for what's cool. And if you're not cool anymore, based on what you think is being played as new music, then that's just where you are. 
Yeah. You're not cool anymore. That doesn't mean what's now being played isn't cool. Conversely, though, like me, me being like so as plugged into like the new stuff as I am is is somewhat cringe because I am a little bit old to be like bumping yeet. <laughs> <laughs> but I still do because I like it. Yeah, if you and and at the end of the day, music is what you like. Like, right? That's I, that's it's that's all it boils down to. I don't know. I I just I've fallen behind on the hip hop thing. Like I know J Cole, I know Kendrick, but I like don't the world that you know. I do not know at all. Yeah, you don't even know about Ian Ferguson. I don't know about Ian Ferguson, but I'm sure he's great. Can't pick what color to watch the wear today. Luckily, it's a two tone watch. See, these are the things that My like brother like Marshawn Lynch. But I know that the, what you're saying somebody. is cool because it sounds cool. So if that's what today is, then that's fine. Yeah. You know? We got to get you on some yeet. Are you saying yeet? Yeah, that's a rapper. Y-E-E-T? Y-E-A-T. He was on uh, Drake's new album. I was going to say, I've seen that name somewhere. Yeah, he's he's very popular. He's very, very popular. That's the other thing, too. Like Things are so fragmented that like in the mid-2000s when I was heavy into my... like. The hip hop that I love and still love, with like the G units, the Fifty Cents, all those. I recently got back into it. Sorry to interrupt. It's, it's okay. So good, dude. Get rich or die trying. I legitimately maybe one or two best rap albums of all time. Hundred percent. And think about the first week. Get rich or die trying sold eight hundred and eighty thousand copies. So you're talking about a monoculture where everyone looks at Fifty Cent is the guy now. Mm -hmm. He is he's he's come from this lineage of Dr. Dre, Eminem, and now it's 50 Cent's turn. Mm -hmm. And the whole every the, everyone, mass media and everyone who listens to hip hop and music in general is like this is the next guy. I, that doesn't really exist anymore. Drake is like a dinosaur in that way. When he puts out music, it feels like it's hitting every demographic. Now, when if Yeet puts out an album, there's going to be people who love hip hop, my, myself, who aren't even going to know what's happening. That would that is not possible in the 2000s. If a big hip hop artist who yeah. is popular puts out an album, everyone who listens to that genre knows about it. Me, as a guy who still likes hip hop but doesn't follow it as closely, I, guys can put out albums who I haven't even heard of, and they're still popular because they're fragmented. 100%. All these fan bases are fragmented. Well, a lot of that is like in general with like even like content creators is primarily because of the rise of the algorithm. So like everyone now, like 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 you said, if a big album came out and it was like the number one thing, you would see it on the news or you'd see it in magazines and that like everyone's eyes were focused on like TV, magazines, and it was v much more like focused. It's one big funnel, right? As opposed to now, there's all these little funnels. It's all just bubbles. Like people are huge in their own little bubble. You yes. never even hear about it. Hundred percent. That's uh, that's absolutely like right. Every day, like you'll just go on TikTok and you'll like come across somebody. You're like, who the fuck is this? And they have like three million followers. And you're like, okay, so like this is a humongous personality that I just would never, never even knew existed. Two it's minutes ago. it's so strange. It's yeah. It's I don't I don't know if it's good or if it's bad, but it's it's certainly what's happening, and what has happened. Hundred percent. Yeah. Scotty Scheffler on sixteen here, Augusta National. He's five under. This is huge for Frankie and Dave Portnoy, who put three hundred grand on this guy. Does he like it? Oh my god, what a fucking shot. Holy Dude, shit. he's gonna be six under. He's gonna be fucking six under. That was such a good shot. Scotty Scheffler definitely bumps Yeet. <laughs> Scotty Scheffler, you think he bumps Yeet? <laughs> I'm gonna have to start listening to Yeet. <laughs> I'm just looking at the I'm just looking at the The chat? Yeah. I'm sure they loved our our rap. I was one. That's actually what I was wondering. Yeah, I was wondering if they were like, "Why are these guys talking about like hip hop and fragmented culture?" Because we're just intellectuals, dude. No, we're not at all. That is true. So Scotty, Scotty is going to be at six hundred now, and he's got a baby on the way. Oh, that's what I was trying to say earlier. Um, I heard that he, if his wife goes into labor, he he's going to bounce. He said he's on record saying if she goes into into labor, he's he splitsville. But we're talking about a guy who's about to be whipped six under and certainly going to be in the mix going forward. So imagine that he gets that call and he's like, say, like day three, he's like day two, he's 11 under. And he gets the call and he's like, oh, I'm kind of dialed right now. Dude, it's a decision he's going to have to make. Imagine him on the phone with his wife. Can you hold it? Can you just like, can you just like squeeze? Can you just send me a Zoom link? Like, yeah. what are we going to do? <laughs> Can you come here? Yeah. 
can you just get on a plane and like I get it, you're di- you're like yeah. dilated. It's like, but like I'll send a private jet. Just come on and hang out. We can set up a tent on the Amen Corner. Right, right, right. It'll be like the NFL. Like yeah. when you get a guy gets injured. Yeah, we'll get. Yeah, we'll. Get, yeah, we'll, we'll bring we'll, out the tent. We'll bring out the concussion tent. <laughs> but it'll just be a labor room for you. <laughs> All right, huge huge par save there for Tiger. Yeah, I don't know. Tiger Woods even looking pretty good. He looks okay. He's he can walk. Six, though. He can walk, which is huge. Yeah, I mean, I, I read that article where he says I ache every day. That was pretty sad to read. Yeah, no, he's... But he uh, did drive a car off a cliff, so that makes sense. 100%. He's, so he's 48 now, I think. So just in terms of regular aging, he's getting old. You're almost 50. You're, you're getting up there a little bit. And then think about it, he's had a million surgeries, knee surgeries, back surgeries, basically almost lost a limb after flying off a cliff. He's <laughs> got to be in so much pain all the time. I don't know why, but the the having to like contextualize everything with he did drive a car off a cliff is, like, is funny. Like not even as like not hyperbole, not a joke, certainly not funny. He did drive a car off a cliff. But he drove a car off a cliff. Yes. Which was unfortunate. He did. But he's looking okay. Wait, is he not? Oh, did he? Oh, he's not with Nike anymore. No. So he's got this new Sunday Red. It's his own clothing company. In in like, uh, he's working with TaylorMade on it. Huh. So yeah, he yeah that was uh, the end the end of that partnership a few months ago. Xander Shoffley. He looks like a tan Frankie. <laughs> Look, this is gonna come all the way down. Is it too much energy? Maybe a little bit, but that's three inertia? pretty damn that's, good shots that's, there. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. You want to play another nine? Sure. Is there someone's shot coming up that we want to see? Tiger just finished. <sighs> Tiger just finished. Scotty is well, he's going to make that birdie. But I just want to see Scotty finish. What? Uh, he's on fifteen. He is on sixteen. Sixteen. He's got yeah. a birdie put on sixteen. We can watch. We can watch, we can finish out, Chef. No, we can play again. I don't doesn't matter to me. I got to do mini golf later. Wow, that's still, I kind of forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, what time is it? Guys, so tonight, mini golf, was it 630 Central? Yep. First group. I'm in it. What's your, do you have a strat going into it? I mean, you know the course now. Hole placements don't change. Yeah, confidence. I've played it three times. I got a yard cover. You're, you have your own little competition. You're not really in contention to win, right? No, I'm certainly not in contention to win. you just need to beat Will. I need to beat Will, which is going to tall. it's a tall order because he's six shots ahead of me. And he's clearly pretty good at mini golf. He's better than me. He's, he's ahead of me. So um, I'm going to have to pull off a historic performance. Are we going to do gonna, mental warfare? Are we going to get in his head? I'm like... I don't know. I'm not great at that. I, it, it, I don't but know. If it, if, since you are such a nice guy, yeah. if you somehow just like, just became a different person and were just in his ass, the thing is, it would shock him to his core. Like it if, would if you were just like, not, yeah. But the I'm thing is, is I really like, I really horse. like Will. Like, I really like. He's a nice guy. He's like, he's fun. He smiles. He laughs a lot. I do the same thing. Like. We're probably just going to end up having a good time. Dude. PFT is in our group, so it's me, PFT, and Will Compton. Um, you can still be friends. Get the Mamba mentality. Kobe ran through Paul Gasol's face. He did do in that. In the Olympics. He really did. they're great buddies. I know. We'll see. I'm just going to try to play my game and hope that he collapses and maybe root for it if it starts to happen. Maybe make fun of his teeth. I wouldn't. I don't, see, I don't want to do that. There's something wrong with his teeth. He's got veneers. He looks like a horse. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm going to write that see, one down. He doesn't, but you just got to. I, I don't know. Oh, he doesn't. No, I didn't say he's a. No, he's he a, does have veneers. He doesn't look like a horse. No, he I'm definitely just, does. Just trying to give you some material. I see it felt mean already. Yeah, that's your problem. Or maybe just be sarcastic. Just be, just be yourself. Just be super nice, but like w- way too nice. Overly nice. Yeah, you're such a great guy. You had such a good career. You're such a good tackler. You're hot. Your haircut is so. He, but precise. he might take. He might just be, take all those, and be like, he's being serious right now, and then he's gonna shoot. 20 yeah. under and blow me out he of the water. He could reverse Uno to you too and then get in your head and then it's Right, like he's, there's a lot of ammo for me. I mean, I'm yeah, ugly, I'm NFL, balding, I'm fat. Yeah, maybe just go he's got, and play golf. The thing about Will, he his NFL career would have been like, because I played linebacker in high school and was like okay, but his career would have been like the ceiling. You know what I mean? Like if I had had his career, because at one point I was like, I want to play football. Mm-hmm. And he had, a, in my eyes, he had a great career. Of course, yeah. Like an incredible, he was in the NFL, so I got nothing. He's, he would just be like, you're like a way less cool version of me, which is true. He could say that to me. 
Oh God, I didn't realize that. It's true. Who's your uh, who's your who's your dark horse that you're eyeing? Like who's someone like I'm trying to get to know golf now. Give me some names of people that I can throw out. We're like, oh, this guy knows this guy knows grass. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. This guy knows grass, yeah. dude. This guy knows greens. Uh, this guy knows. I like. Um, this guy knows divots. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think. Just I got. Like, I, I watched Valero. I did watch the Valero Open, so I got. I got Akshay in my back pocket. Okay, I collected him. That's a good. He's a he's a young up and coming kid. He's 22. Weak shoulder. Yeah, clearly, clearly trying to like you know celebrate and hurt himself. Um. I don't know, like an obscure golfer. Aren't you like a golf podcaster? I am a golf podcaster, but there's a, there's just so many. I mean, you could look at the world golf <laughs> rankings. You guys and anybody... are kind of just star fuckers, though. You just bring on the biggest, hundred percent. Yeah. Any, we'll talk shit about a guy for years, and he'll come on the show, and we'll be like, "We love you." Mm-hmm. That's just our thing. Yeah, it's the game. It is. It's it's the game, and it's our thing. Mm-hmm. Like, because what you find out, and especially in the early days, we were so nothing where to like get attention not even get attention but to like make a show funny and interesting you just talk shit about a lot of people Mm -hmm. and you never think like hey one day you might interview these people right you just like you're rogue and you're like fuck this guy he's a soft he's this and then you meet them and they're nice and they're just normal people i had that experience by proxy when in my head i was saying all this vile shit about damon i can never say his name right damon stick with damon I can. I was just talking all the shit. In Joel Dahman. I hate this guy. And then all of a sudden, there's a scene where he walks into a patio, and there's your dumbass interviewing him. Yeah, and that's like, right. I'm like, well, fuck. He's like, seems like a great guy. They love him. Everyone seems to love him. He's really nice. I He's a really nice guy. Attitude towards sports. But it also is. Oh, why am I yawning? It is also so like that's, well, that's the Rudy Junda experience. It is no, no. <laughs> I've dude. I so I've been getting like I have severe sleep apnea. Oh really? My mom does too. Do you have the mask? So I have the mask. I didn't. I, I like can't get used to it. The Darth Vader. Yeah, I sleep. I'm like I'm Darth oh. Vader at night, which to all the ladies out there, check it out. Yeah. Awesome. I'm hot, and but like I think when I don't use it, like I didn't bring it to me. I didn't bring the thing with me now when I'm traveling. Mm-hmm. I think I got like I got seven and a half hours last night, but I don't think it's real sleep. No, it's like. I'm I'm basically on the verge of death. Your brain is fighting for its life. <laughs> right, right. So it thinks, um, it thinks you've been drowning for seven hours. And yeah, I s- apparently don't, can't. You bring like uh, my mom brings it everywhere. So does my dad because my dad has it too. But don't can't you get like the mouth guard? <laughs> Isn't there like a portable like mouth every guard? night I fight for my life, yeah. <laughs> dude. Every night I'm fighting for my fucking life. It is such a. I feel it's a real thing because my mom has it, and it's like you don't want to make fun because it's like a real affliction people have. But it is funny that like sleeping is a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> it is a very twenty. It's a very like, modern problem to you have. You can't even recover right, <laughs> <laughs> dude. It's very much like if you told a caveman or yeah. somebody from thousands of years ago, like we have, we've, we've things are so plentiful. And people have eaten so much, and there's so much sugar that yeah. you you find once every seven years, and there's so much of all of that that there are individuals who have eaten so much of it that when they lay down to sleep at night, it's a struggle. Yeah. That everything is just like the, you're there's too much fat. You've been eating too much food. This is my case, not for everybody. Wait, but no, it's not because you're well, like being obese does do it, but isn't it just because like your face structure and like the way you breathe? It doesn't necessarily like you. I don't think you're f- to the fat where like breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, difficult. get this. So when I went to the pulmonologist and was talking to them about it, if you are if you have a neck that is more than 16 inches, you're predisposed to sleep apnea. Oh. And I have a neck that's 17 and a half. Holy so shit. So it's 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 just it's probably not fat. I don't know what the I don't know what the diagnosis you're process not, is. You're just, you're There's just, just more you're just, up here. You're just Iowa. I'm Iowa. Yeah. I'm severe apnea. I have severe sleep apnea. <laughs> Severe apnea. Severe apnea. <laughs> it sucks, dude. But I gotta start using it more because I wake up in the mornings, I have headaches, and yeah, it's not good for you me. You clean it, right? You gotta make sure you clean it. This is the thing. Like I haven't been using. I just got it recently, but I haven't been using it. Like because when I try to use it, I can't sleep. Because you know, I, I I've slept thirty five years with yeah. not something on my face. It takes some getting used to. For I gotta sure. get used to it. I gotta get used to it. But yeah, it is what it is. 
But it, uh, it actually can like fix you because my mom has been doing it for years. And fix you. And she went and got another sleep study after using it for years, and it's like drastically improved. So I she's almost to the point now where she doesn't even need the machine. I got to get it. So the, there's, a, there's a horizon it. for you. I know, man. Where I you don't have to be strapped in like my, a, like my a eyes car getting <laughs> vacuum cleaned. My eyes hurt every day. My head hurts every day. Fuck yeah, dude. I, I'll tell you what. And this is going to be a controversial take that no one has ever heard before. Getting old sucks. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I people say that when they're, like, 28, and they're like, oh, my God, my hangovers are so bad. Mm-hmm. Getting old sucks. Mm-hmm. Turn 35, and I know there's probably 45-year-olds out there being like, this 35-year-old's a piece of shit. I, I'm now realizing that aging actually exists. Uh huh. It's like you start to hit a wall Yeah. where I don't sleep as well. I have severe sleep apnea. I struggled to sleep because of it. Like in my 20s, I was like, I'll drink 15 beers a night and I'll wake up and I can run a marathon. Those days are over. Yeah, the drinking one is the most stark realization. Yeah. Where if I, if I, if I don't get a good night's sleep, it takes me 48 hours to get right. 100%. That's Anything the- under seven hours, if we're being honest, I'm like, I'm angry. Like I'm angry. Yeah. I got a little bit of an attitude. Wills out Taurus. So Shethler's on 17. Yeah. He's playing so well. Where does the uh, where does Augusta rank in terms of difficulty? It's up there. Especially with the way these guys play it. And what is and what's the, the really fucked up course, Beth Page Black? That's a hard one, yeah. That's a long that's like a long one. But what's the what's the one that absolutely destroy like where everyone's shooting like they finished tournament like minus two? Isn't there one that's really difficult? Well they Usually it's like a U.S. Open course that'll do that. Beth Page is one of them. Uh-huh. Shinnecock. Like, there's these courses. U.S. Open courses generally are much more difficult. Hold on. We have this AI camera, and it, like, it's it does this, like, face tracking thing. But sometimes it gets its wires crossed. and like. You got an AI camera? I guess so. Wait, what the fuck? I don't know why it keeps turning itself on. So, yeah, like, it can, like, face track. Yeah, see, this that's that's going to be the end of us there. So uh, I haven't been caught up. Like, what's the status of breaking of breaking ninety right now? Uh, we're still in the process of trying to do it. We're gonna start filming them again soon. My closest is ninety two. I've shot ninety two and ninety three. I've come close. I'm pretty consistently in the mid nineties, but I just haven't broken through yet. But what was the last one? What, how long ago was the last one? A while. It's been a few months. Mm-hmm. Thing is, is like in New York, and we film a lot of them on Long Island. Once the winter comes and they just shut down golf courses for three months. Also, there is something to be said about you can't just. It's it's better if it's like you got to give some time to like do other stuff. Yeah. And then it makes the videos more important. Let it breathe a little bit. Like if you just did it every week. Once once things get warmer in the north northeast, I do want to try to do them like every two weeks or so. But the break is, and it's not because I'm doing it. It's literally because of the weather and golf courses aren't open. They are now a little bit, but. People are starting to be like, where is it, where is it, where is it? Which is a good problem to have. Mm-hmm. Where they're like, at least they're invested and they want to see it happen. So. Have you been working on your game? Yeah, trying. And we travel to warmer places to shoot videos. So I'm still playing a decent amount. But I haven't done like a full 18 trying to break 90 in a few months. But I've been playing. What's the confidence level? I feel good. I do. I I, I think it's going to happen this year. Tiger Woods out of the bunker. Nice shot. Great shot. Um, I think it's going to happen this year. Might take a couple of rounds, but I feel good about it. Tiger looks good. Yeah, man. His, I wa- I'm hoping his hair looks better. When he won the Masters in 2019, you're talking about like how he looked old then versus now. When he took his hat off, he looked like one of he looked like one of Sid's toys from yeah. Toy Story with like hair glued onto it. It's never good. It's not going to get any better unless he goes shaved. Yeah. I, I don't think it's ever there's always going to be a helicopter pad back there which I have so <laughs> never heard that that's dude that's what I have too look at this thing let me see it's not too bad but you're you've good because you're committed to the buzz cut like I'm definitely big I'll, time. I've, I've been slowing down at the uh, up there too yeah big time really oh yeah but I I started taking uh, the pills for it when I was really young okay because if you get ahead of it you can pretty much stop it in its tracks okay but at the end of the day like father time 
undefeated. Mm-hmm. That's what they say. Like if we're doing like the out there where the mini golf is. Yeah. Like if they were using the overhead cameras. Yeah. And I caught wind of that. It's it's a hat day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I just. I just own it because I just, you know. Well, yeah, that's the thing is that I'm aging. You're you're in a good spot because it's like yeah, this is I've I've always been a busker guy, all good. Yeah, and true. You look nice. Like I'm in the point where I'm like, okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to fight this, we're right? Gonna fight this until until there's I, it's basically until there's that one visual. I know. And I and I ha- yeah. And then it's like, all right, well, either we're going we're going buzz cut, or we're going to Turkey. Right. That's true. Yeah, because if you buzz your hair now, it's like. Did you read like the wrong pamphlet? Like yes. what? What happened? It's a little early. Are you? Are if you've been like? I'm still in the fight. You're still in the fight. Mm-hmm. You're still in the fight. You haven't been. If people like you've been radicalized by something, if because you still have good hair in the front. Yeah, that's that's a nice thing. So yeah. that does actually make me a good candidate for a transplant. True. Yeah, like that. Like Dave's dude. It's crazy how his front is so good. He's got great hair. Yeah, great hair. I might have to get his guy if I need it. Probably gonna be a pretty, a pretty penny. Yeah. Should I just text him like, hey? No, no, no. Don't do that. Hey. Don't do that. Yeah, it's like... Don't do that. Help me out, Dave. (laughs) Make it content. Please, would you please? I need... I I need money! I need a little hell transplant. Ugh. I think... I heard Ken Jack was going to get one. Oh, really? Yeah. I think he was going to think about doing a... He said he was thinking about doing a video where they all go to Turkey, the boys. If things get... <laughs> the bald boys. If things get bad for me, I can just... I can go full uh, shaved head, too. Well, you look good with the buzz. Buzz is good. Yeah. Buzz is good. The If you go Bic, like you take a razor to it, I look a little, like, crazy. Yeah, I, 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 there's a word I'm thinking of that you'd look like that wouldn't be great. What's to start, what's to start with? An N. Yeah, I which I get. And it's... I. Yeah, it's a little just like intense. Yeah, the buzz, whatever. I do one and a half. It, it, you look like your nickname would be like chainsaw. Yeah, buzz saw. Get some tattoos. Bone saw. Yeah, have have a sketchy. Yeah, it wouldn't be good. My my passport would be sketchy. The whole deal. So I think I could do it, but it's not my no, idea. This situation. is good. I know. We'll see. Nothing's good, man. Ah, oh, dude, you're being hard Get, yourself. Getting old is just nothing's good anymore. Should we play nine? Yeah, let's do it. I just this turned into just like the Trent and Rudy podcast. I mean, I haven't seen Trent in forever, so we're just catching. I know, out. man. You have since you you betrayed the New York office. Yeah, well, you you left before me, and then it's kind of interesting. Like as soon as I moved out, you moved back into New York City. So oh, that's true. Yeah, I did. I moved back into the yeah, yeah into the thick of it. Um, we can play the front. Sure. Yeah. What do we play? Dude, let's 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 juice it. Let's go white, dude. Yeah, yeah. dude. Also, we can we can let's let's play with good golfers. Oh, let's do it. Yeah, like why not? I would love to do that. Mm-hmm. Yes. How do we change? Actually, if we're gonna do good golfers, then you can move it back if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, did I do that right now? I gotta confirm. Front nine. Okay. And then we're doing stroke play. We were doing match play. Let's do match play. And then how do I change? Okay. So I'll do mine first. Okay. Who do I like? Who do I like? Nate Shot. Shout out to Nate Shot. Yeah, that's funny. I love that guy. Yeah, he seems like a good dude. Did he, you see him uh, get that hole in one during his stream? Yeah, and, like, it didn't take first, him that long. It took him like 45 minutes. Didn't take him that long. I'll do. I'll do. I'll do Bubba. He's Another like, lefty. Yeah, I like the lefties. So okay, I'll go, I'll go that. And then so hit. Uh, there you go. Uh, John Cena. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that happened. That's that's really. I want to do. I'm gonna do Matt Fitzpatrick. And then just hit circle. Okay, uh-huh. hold on. Let me make sure I got this right. Front nine match play. Yep. Bingo, bingo, bongo. Let's get money. Okay. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, I gotta do the controller thing. Your A game today. I'm gonna be honest with you. I favor the match play as a mode of play. This should be fun. Let's do this. Yo. What up, dog? Yo, you wanna play? Uh, I guess in the middle. Of we the literally, we haven't even teed off. We're like starting right now. I think, Bubba, you wanna play for me? Yeah, we're just doing it in front nine. 
Uh, Trend, you're gonna have to do the assigned controller thing, and then you may have to do the switch that thing you switch. Dude, he uses. He uses his. He uses. Yeah, yeah this is you. He uses his left stick I'm for the swing lefty. stick. That's bad. Ooh, I, I, I don't know. That is All right, so now I gotta change. It didn't. It wouldn't have stuck. I don't know. If it, it did was. stick. It did stick. All right. I use the left joystick to 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 pull back. How crazy is that? I, yeah. That was not great, but it's not gonna kill me. Better than Hank's. Hank has a <laughs> Hank. Hank has a, a unique history with this game. In what way? We've been through hell and back together. Well, he there just. Pretty good. Yeah. No, it's not. He uh, he 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 he's a bit of a hothead. He's a bit like the old Wyndham Clark. <laughs> Before the sports psychologist. Before yeah, I honestly we might need to get Hank an esports psychologist. That's a good idea. Get the lady on full swing. Yeah. Oh yeah. What a oh, darn. Trent. Oh. Sit. Oh baby, stop. All right. Missed the green on that approach. Oh my god, this. He's our third shot. Get up there. Run. Oh. No, that's what that's what I've been doing in real life. I putt from everywhere. Rarely use hit, my wedges. Hit, hit right bumper, Hank. Hit right bumper. That's back to your original. There you go. Oh, nice beaut. shot, that's, that's a beaut. Damn, Scotty's all the way back. Dude, he is playing very well. All right. So much better playing with. I mean. Playing without my guy. Mm -hmm. Did you guys just do that? Not being you is pretty great, eh? It's great. Mm -hmm. It's the best. Yeah, I did. I was uh, Frank. I was Frankie, play. and he was Trump. Yeah, match play. Do you play this game a lot, though? Decent amount, yeah. It's very, it's very relaxing. It is. Well, not for you, but. On well, I fall apart on stream, and I just like it's kind of like when you're playing golf on camera. It's just like yeah, for whatever reason. Oh yeah. I've had that. You, it's harder to to relax after bad shots and then just compound mistakes. So bad. Oh, that's fine. Here's our second shot on hole number two. Oh wow! Sling. Oh, Slinging man. it down there like Butcher. Oh, that was almost money. Oh, I probably should. I'm terrible in the bunkers in this game. Me too. Oh, push it further. Nope. Rory, minus two. Dude, if Scotty's oh bogeyed, if Scotty can get to seven, that'd be or minus one, nuts. excuse me. Oh, this is my guy that I'm playing with. Is that all? You'll be right, Hank. Get up there. Oh, That's a great yes. shot. Wow, really good. It is. That wind in Augusta is okay. whipping. Whipping. Right here. Did it just not rain today? It rained in the morning. What a putt. It rained in the morning, and then it was supposed to rain all day. I don't know what happened. I would rather have, I mean, I'm not really a golfer, so you tell me if I'm wrong, but I'd rather have, like, a little bit of rain over wind. Yes. That's what Bryson had, because it softens up the course, and you can throw darts. This would be huge. Oh. oh, man. Wow. This is a sick looking course. 10 mile power wind. Oh, boy. It's all right. Okay. It's safe. That's safe. Okay, let's see what you Are you right handed? Yeah. But you want to swing with your left stick. That's so I've just I've been doing it my whole life in terms of golf video games. I've been playing golf video games since like 2004. Oh, All right, good, good win, Trent. Thank you. Up for our third shot. See, this is what he does. He has a bad shot, and then he just sprints to the next one and just like oh, rage, match play. rages. I, okay, I know, Hank, but. Jesus. My buddy. 
Who's this guy with the lettuce? <laughs> He's an amateur. I like this guy. Shipley. Neil? Neil Shipley? What a name. The real deal Neil Shipley? <laughs> Come on, man. I can't get this putting thing to work. How does the uh, oh, amateur? You might bet, bet. How does the amateur qualification for the for the Masters work? It's a good question. I'm not exactly. Oh, there, is that Stuart Hagenstein? He's like a he's a legend in the amateur game. He's a he's a Northeast guy. I don't know what the what the process is actually. It's a good question. I think one of my like kid I used to play hockey with is on the Corn Ferry now. Michael Schoolcraft. I think he's on the Corn Ferry. Jasper Stubbs is a crazy name. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of wild names in golf. Christo. Jasper Stubbs is is nuts. I think Neil Shipley might be my favorite. Oh, denied. Okay, if you think this, you'll go two up on your friend. God damn it. Oh, they don't like that, Tiger. And here's our look. He likes it. Triple bogey. Okay, drop this and you'll go two up on your friend. Dub. In my 2K B a pro, I'm in an absolute this season, six season on the PGA Tour. Me and Tiger are just going blow for blow right now. Really? Yeah. Wow. I got about a thousand FedEx Cup points. Get left. He's at like 987. It's a nail biter. It's a two horse race. Yeah. Is this going in the bunker? Her Harold Varner was with us for a couple years. I don't think he fell off the face of the earth. He's Come a live, he's a live guy now. Oh really? Probably not in your game, but. Yeah, well, yeah, fun, uh, correct. That'd be funny if Liv existed in the game. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's all Fuck, good. man. It's it going to be over soon. Here's your second About to be dormy. On the four. Is that all? All right, it's dark throwing time, folks. Yeah, yeah lean forward in that chair. Get in the gamer stance, Hank. This one's your third. That could, that could, that could bounce left. left, bounce left, roll left, keep running. Not quite a dart. I mean, no excuses for like playing left. He's bizarre. Trent's going to fuck this up. <laughs> fuck. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. I am bad out of bunkers in this game. Just in this game. Yep, just in this game. Nowhere else. Get up there. How many times a day will people just tweet you pictures of bunkers? A lot. Mm. Uh, I'm in trouble here. No, you suck. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Just to win the hole. Yeah, big pot here. Fuck. It. He made it. No. Oh. Oh! All right, I gotta make this. Where is this? Where is this hole? What am I gonna do with you? Oh! What am I gonna do with you? Yes! Yes! Wow! Need this one is a freaking choke. Big left to right in this fairway. Kick right. Oh, well, you how'd that stay up? That's, piece That's of crazy. Stay. stay with us. Stay with us. All right, let's go on. Be really good. Ooh. Be really good. Like, That's deep. But I might roll back. Nope. All right, this is gonna go way right, Hank, because of this, the the where your feet are at. I, I, I said it's gonna go right. It just sucks like too. Wow, Bingo. that looks good. Good caddying, Rudy. Yeah, I've been, I've been catting for Hank in this game lately. That's good. That was good advice you gave him. I try. It's hard to caddy, though, when he when he gets upset, stops talking, and then just starts spam shooting. <laughs> yeah, he's been... Before I can even give advice. Oh! All right, that's no gimme. All right. To win the hole. I'll take up with that. No. 
Oh! Dude, downhill. I'm such a weenie. <laughs> such a weenie. God damn it. Please. Here. <gasps> oh, oh my god. god. That's bullshit. Yes. Just because Trent's in the game. Yes. Yeah, they give me favorable mm -hmm. bounces. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's pipe this thing. Nope. Yep. That's fine. Bounce skirt. Oh. Wow, what a what an escape. Skirt, skirt. Ooh, That's nice. a good swing there. Nice, Eric. Wow. Like 40 yards past me. Be really Ooh, good. Mommy, oh mommy, mommy. Go in the fucking hole. Nope. That's a good shot. Thanks. Kick. Stay up. Shh. Oh, yikes. Whoa. Yikes. 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 Uh-oh. Oh, there's a short Sorry. game expert. Okay, All right, I'm just going to roll up there. Too much. That's good. Class. All right. Good All right. wait. All right. All right. All right. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Just the way the way you like just I, those paws. And I that pound control, pound controllers, that and then when you putt, you do the you do this. I, oh yeah, I always yeah. No, bro, this is. This I, love it, dude. I pound the controller. All right, I gotta win these next three. I got a five wood in my hand. What kind of par three. I like is that this? you show that everyone you're alive. That you're feeling the game. Why do I have a? F what kind of hole is people this? Use, when people see me on camera, they wonder if I'm even alive. Ooh. Final Ooh. rounds. Ooh. Ooh. Good jump up. Oh. All right. Final round starts uh, in an hour and 20 minutes. 6.30 Central. I'm in the first group, I think. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm second group. I'm in the first group. First group is me, Will Compton, and PFT. I think it's Kirk now because we, we fixed his. He, the official score is a 28. So me, Will Compton, PFT, and Kirk Minahan? I believe so. Okay. I'm good with that. Pure. Get up. Oh, baby. S you gonna stay? <laughs> I'm gonna putt at it. Alright, here we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, dude, I keep coming up coming down this hill hard. <laughs> That's vintage Lockwood. It's <laughs> been an absolute weenie 5,000. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, man. Take it easy. Yeah, dude. I didn't do much better. Some people are calling this. second shot or your third shot? That was my second. Some people are calling this a must make here. Trent this doesn't, is it. Trent, Trent doesn't miss won. these. Yeah, Trent won. does he not miss won. these. If he can get the putt off. Good. Oof. Oh. And this one's over. That's it, right? For, right? Yep. Yeah. Better Put him to bed in seven. Congrats, Trent. Thank you. <sighs> Put him to bed in seven. I think that's going to do it for me. Yeah, that's going to do it for all of us here in the 2K studio. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Next week, we're playing a game. First time of a new game, brand new game. Oh, what do we got? I'll give you a clue. Ah! Oh, hell yeah. Porn? Yeah. T t t <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, tennis. Tennis? Oh, good. Top spin, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's their new game. It's the first tennis game in a while. Oh, We're going to get Ben Minson here since he spoiled the uh, announcement date. Thank yeah. you, Trent. Always a oh, pleasure having you. Yeah. Happy to be here. Shout out, Trent. Shout out, Chat. Shout out, Frankie. Shout out, Hank. Shout out, Chat. Shout out to you guys. Love you guys. McElroy out of the bunker. Yeah, it's hot in here. There's a new era.
about to dawn at the most magical setting in golf. Four. There's a new era about to dawn at the most magical setting in golf.